Professor Liu is going to teach you to Excel Module 1, 15. Emma Dimitros is a direct sales representative of Express Buy, an online marketplace for consumer products. Uh, headquartered in Yon Yonker, New York, she has created a worksheet comparing the products of two office products line and has asked you to help uh, complete the analysis. So, a worksheet usually, a workbook usually has many sheets. The first sheet is a, a introduction sheet. So we're going to go to the second sheet, profit analysis. And if we go to a profit analysis sheet right here, and we are going to uh, enter the express uh, office product to sell one. So we come in here and to sell one here and we're going to type x uh, express by all right so we complete it now let's go to step two we're going to A2 right now. In the A2, uh, we are going to uh, enter profit analysis. All right. So we complete this one. Then we continue to do step three. So at the step three, we're going to go G2. G2 and we are going to clear remove so you hit delete next that's step 4 go to A3 right now at A3 uh, we are going to change to 2017 to 2019 notice this cell the word is longer than the cell so we have to move top to the uh, text formula bar here to do it so instead of 2017, let's change to 2019. Okay. Now, let's do step five. Step five, we're going to learn to enter a number. Let's go to D9. So enter a number 4A050. Okay. And click other place. We complete. Now. We're going to do something else here. We are going to see here at the uh, step six. Uh, we notice right here at the E5, E5 here, those are the sum for the product uh, from 2019 to uh, 2020 and 2021. And if you notice right here at the formula bar, that's a formula. Okay. Now, so we are going to do this right now. So we are, uh, Excel has a special feature called fill handler, and which looks like a uh, solid plus sign. So let me go get my uh, magnified glasses, pop out. All right, so um, you will see that, uh, uh, solid plus sign right here solid plus sign right here then if I drag it down here and I got everything that's a total so this will be the total from E6 to E10 instead of typing and it automatically look here this automatic adjust by the row this is row B now row, row 6 and this will be row 7 all right, if you see the number here, okay. Now, we are going to do something else right here. So, Emma want to calculate the total profit for each year. For example, on the year in 2019. In 2019, and she want to know the total for as B1, B11. She want to know the sum for... Uh, all the product cal uh, calendar and that's organizer so we're going to teach different way here and we are going to ask you to click on here 
is the sum summation okay click on that then once you click on that and press enter and you are going to do the same thing here and you are use the uh, fill handler okay and copy to the right all right so now we complete this step uh, seven let's move on to a13 so at the a13 right here uh we are going to uh add uh, uh after supply at 29 again uh the cell the uh space is shorter than what we need to type so we have to come in back to the formula bar right here then we're going to press enter and type 2019-2021 and we place other place all right so this is how we enter uh the word when they are beyond the space of what you have okay so let's go step um nine right now and we have to enter these numbers so let's go to the numbers from b18 so the number we enter will be uh <clears throat> three four two zero zero all right and press tab all right key right and uh three six five zero zero uh three five seven five zero okay all right so we finish that and next step we are going to see the difference okay so we are going to difference from total product between the two products line okay so go to d uh b sorry b23 so let's go b20 uh uh b23 okay so that's b23 we're going to see a different okay so the different for that and what we're going to do is this we are going to subtract and subtract is dash okay so we're going to do uh b19 okay b19 then uh subtract uh uh subtract the uh b11 from b19 and we subtract when we subtract uh enter formula first we put equal sign equal sign is going to formula and never type but by click all right so what we're going to say we click on b19 all right then minus is dash okay and b11 all right then press enter all right then we are going to copy the formula too so right here and strike to the right until you see and strike to the right all right so now we are going to do step 11 right now step 11 is Emma want to do some uh, statistic on the sales for uh, the cell office and printing supply so this is office supply this is printing supply and she wanted the, the difference let's go h4 right now so h4 well, she want to know the average, uh, uh, average profit from the twenty twenty one, from twenty twenty one. So the D five to D ten. So uh, we're going to press uh, use some formula right here. First, press equal, then uh, type average. All right. Once we find average, click it. And we never want to press num uh, put a B or whatever. What we need to do is we select we select these uh, cells. So it's D five to D ten. So let's do D five to D ten. D ten. All right. So notice the formula is D five to D ten. And press right parenthesis enter. Okay. So we got this. The average. That's the average right now. All right, so H7, H7 is right here. We are going to look the maximum. And as for the, mo uh, we are going to find most profit, most profitable supply. 
All right. So you put equal and type max and left. Okay. Then we are going to do again is D15 to D18. So D15 to D18. And so this is printing surprise. All right. So we got that part right now. And there's a maxima. Let's do the minima right now. And the office supply right now. So we type equal and mean left parenthesis. But with this time is office. Office first table. So D5 to D10. And right parenthesis. All right. So step 12. And Emma want to identify most profit or printing supply. So she want to copy the contents of A16 and paste to cell I7. I, I so let's do need risk right now. So we are going to go to A16. A16. A16 is toner. Uh, notice right now uh, the color is a little bit different, the toner here. Okay, so we're going to copy this and control C and go to the I. I, uh, seven, I, uh, seven. All right, so once you do paste here, <clears throat> but you, you don't want to color, copy a different color because uh, over there is a darker. So what you're going to do is you want it to uh, copy only the value, only the value. So you don't carry the format, the different color, okay? Now, we want to hide the green line. This one, you have the green line. And we want to hide the green line. Sometimes it's for uh, better looking, but I like green line. But the way to do is very easy. Go view and just uh, uncheck the green line. So you don't have green line anymore, okay? Then while we are here, and let's go page layout. Then the page layout, because this one is elongate one, so the orientation want to change to landscape, landscape. Then we complete this assignment. I hope you like this video.